Good morning, everyone. It is 10.30 a.m. Mikey is on the toilet. I have got a fresh cup of hot coffee. And we're going to start the day with some prayers. And I like to, I like to have a candle lit. Get in there. There we go. It's for the aesthetic of it all. Okay. There we go. Looks nice. Aesthetically pleasing. So let's get this show started. I got about six hours of sleep. Uh, you know, I do the vlog, so that kind of pushes back where you can go to sleep three hours, you know, get eight hours, you're going to get six. But that's okay. That's what we do. I feel okay. My body's getting adjusted to this stuff. So, Michael will be on the toilet for the next half hour, 45 minutes, and I'll clean him up, feed him breakfast, and we're going to chill until he eats lunch. But today is Friday. Friday. November 5th, in the year of our Lord, 2021. And today is 150... Nine days later. Man, my nines are bad when I use this. <laughs> I'm trying not to knock my coffee over. I got a candle in the wind over there. I hope everyone has an amazing, beautiful, blessed day today. Pray, hope, and don't worry. You know what? While we're doing this, this has been sitting here for a few days now. Let's do an unbagging. Really quick. Let's ah, hope that. I know it's inside. So I ordered it. So we have got Ernie Ball Hybrid Slinky Bass for four strings. And then we got Ernie Ball Power Slinky Bass for my five string bass. Ernie Ball, baby. There we go. Say a prayer for Ernie Ball. Say a prayer. Okay, everyone. And now. The host of our show, the hostess with the mostess, here's Joe. My name is Joe, and I'm an alcoholic, and I'm an addict, and I'm exhausted, but I'm in a damn good mood. I tell you what, even without hot water, that shower I took tonight, it felt so damn good. Sometimes, after you've busted your ass, like I busted my ass the last few days taking care of Mikey, <laughs> the best thing is to have an ice cold shower. So, my hair, my I had to, I had to look at what I had to do, cause it was so boofy, cause I put the shampoo in the beard too. <laughs> I conditioned my beard, but yeah. So got a nurse coming tomorrow. But the good news is, and I say this from the bottom of my heart, holy shit. Holy shit. The day started off with me calling Mikey's brother and telling him we got to take Michael to the hospital. He's backed up. It's happened before. It's happened twice before. And it was raining. It was pouring outside. And he's like, well, you know, you don't want to go to the hospital. There's COVID. And I, and I agree with that. I agree with that. You know, Michael's been vaccinated. But even still, you know, he, he could be subsec, you know, succept, sub, uh, <laughs> succept, oh, fuck that word. <laughs> he, he could be at risk for that. How about that? Shit. When you can't pronounce a word, think of a different one. Succept, success, the fucking shit. I'm tired. I know how to speak. I, I guarantee you, I know how to say that word, but I'm tired. But, um, so I gave him some more Ducalax, but I've been giving him something else that I discovered myself. Because, you know, I'm on a keto diet. That shit's high in protein, low in carbs. Um, and then I get to the weekend, and I love cheese. Me and cheese, oh. But you know, cheese and protein, it can't, it's not always the best marriage and you end up paying a price because, you know, when you got to move, it don't want to move and then you got trouble. 
But I discovered something because besides water and coffee, the only other thing I get to drink because I gave up soda and all that stuff. Shit, there were times where all I drank was soda, nothing but soda, diet soda. And I literally had a gray complexion. Like I'm looking at my complexion right now in the video. I look, I think I look great. I'm not like patting myself. Oh, you're beautiful. But I look fucking healthy. And that's one, fasting, eating right, and all that other bullshit. But when I was drinking nothing but soda, I had this like, oh, I look like fucking, like dusty old death. But um, I get the, the double pack from Sam's Club of the lemon concentrate. And it's the best. I've tried all the lemon in town. I'm telling you, I'm not even joking. I've gotten lemon, the lemon concentrate from Publix. I've got it from Target. I've every fucking place and, and it's shit. But the one from Sam's is perfect. And I put, you know, I pour it in ice cold water. And I got this stuff for my coffee from Sam's called Truvia. And I noticed a little while back, not that long ago, because, you know, I went ham with the meat and cheese on the weekend. And I was like, I'm going to fucking pay for that. But fuck, I love that meat and cheese. I got to go. I'm like a dog. I can't control myself. And instead of paying the price, everything was normal. Better than normal. And then I realized that Truvia, what it's made from, um, it actually promotes good gut health. Whether that's what did it or not, I don't know. All I know is when I drink that stuff in my little homemade lemonade, I don't got no problem. So I've been putting that in a little drink for Mikey. And, well, let's take a quick break. And when we come back, I'm going to tell you why I'm saying holy shit. And it's in a good way. Holy shit in a good way. So we'll be right back. Let, let's look at what I did today. I got two clips. I did manage to restring my beautiful Gibson SG. Well, I was an impulse buy. About 2016, I used to get musician's friend daily, e daily pick, deal of the day. And I saw 2016 Gibson SG, made in the USA for under 600? All walnut. And I love, I love the natural woods. You know, I, you take all that paint and flame maple and all that. I don't give a fuck. You give me the, I'm like, strip that off. Let me see the wood under there. Maybe put a little bit of a stain, not too dark. That's my thing. with it. I love that. That's why I love a maple neck. Ebony necks are cool too. Roasted maple. I, that I don't have yet, but I will. So I changed the strings on my Gibson SG. You're going to see, I did a, I did a hybrid of two different sets of strings, and I fucking love it. It's I'm out there playing. I'm not even plugged into an amp. I'm all just fucking perfect. It feels perfect in my hands. I love that. It's, you know, my dinosaur brain took me decades to realize that tens to me are like fucking eights. Look at the look, look at these fucking mitts. Right, fucking Hulk hands. I'm not even joking. Look, we'll be right back. I love every single one of you. So stick around. Ooh, it's, it's a beautiful, rainy, look at this rainy day. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's the one beautiful thing in my life right now. It is 3.40 p.m. Friday, November 5th, right? Is it November 5th? Yeah, there's, there's Michael's chair by the toilet. <laughs> Michael just got put on the toilet. And the first thing you always do is, I I made a, I took a, one of those eight quart, no, not a quart, eight quart, one of those quart size containers that you get from like a Chinese food restaurant. And I cut it in half down the middle and cut the bottom off. It's like a pea guard because he will piss on you and he will piss on the floor. But if you get it, you know, you know how to angle it. You don't get peed on. And he ain't peed on me once. 
this time or the last time. So hopefully he poops. He's on the bowl. He just had a very light lunch. Um, and uh, I just thought I'd check in. It's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Hopefully, and I'm thinking there'll be a nurse here tomorrow. I'm not going to say 100%, but I did talk to his nurse, and she's taking pain meds for her back, so she should be back. But the one who comes on the weekends, I'm about to have my shake. It's my first keto shake for today. So the middle is still... This is me scraping the frozen sides into the middle and making it all slushy. <laughs> Piggy! That's Mikey Belchin. 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 So, I am going to have my keto shake, and then I'm going to take Michael off the bowl in about 45 minutes to an hour, clean him up, set him out here, and I'm going to take an ice cold shower because there's been no hot water in this house for three years. And now, what's the temperature outside today? Let's see what we got. It's always wonderful. Come on, you fucking old computer, you piece of shit. When I click on something, show it to me. I'll... It is uh, like 73 outside. So that's going to be chilly water, but I've done, I've done colder. But anyway, hey, I hope everyone's having a beautiful Friday. But remember my Friday saying, I don't care what they throw at me. It's Friday. So even this, I'm adjusted. I'm on six hours of sleep, but I'm adju I've adjusted. It's like those first two days, my body just throbs in pain. And it's like, oh, yeah, we're doing this. Okay, let's go. So, hey, today's 159 days later. I can't wait to get to the 160s. So we're like three three weeks. We'll, tomorrow will be three weeks away. Just three weeks away from six months of sobriety. So that'll be 180 days. Yeah, that'll be fucking miraculous. <laughs> <laughs> shit I, I ain't gonna lie there's been times man I wanted to be in a fucking six foot Olympic sized pool of tequila just swimming in that shit doing a backstroke but that's a temporary a poor temporary solution to any problem and I say it's extremely poor and, and eventually fatal solution so with the God's grace, I'm drunk on God's grace, and I'm drunk on all of you. That's the only drunk I'm getting. I'm drunk on love, but God bless us all, everyone. Let's get back to the show. So this is on the bench today. Going to get polished up, get new strings, but I'm going to Frankenstein this. I'm taking the heavy bottoms from this set and putting it with the heavy tops from that one. So... We're going to have 11, 14, and 18 for the high E, the B, and the G. And then we're going to have 30, 42, 52 for the D, the A, and the E. Because, you know, it only took me a few decades to realize that with these freaking Hulk hands, 11s are 10s to me, and 10s are like 8s. But that's it. I got work to do. And we're back. So I was scared about Michael. Um, you know, you, 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 you can only put so much food into someone without it coming out. He had like little, like think of like, like half of my thumb is what was coming out anytime he sat down. And then this morning, not even like the tip. And I'm like, no, man, that's, this isn't, that's why I finally said, yeah. I got to call his brother and say, we got to take him to the hospital. I'm, I'm fucking scared. My spider sense was tingling. And I've lived with him since 2009. You know, you get in tune with somebody. You, you get a bad vibe. The last time I had a bad vibe, it saved his life. Because I'm sitting next to him after the nurse left on a Saturday night. And just something. And he's literally sitting next to me. And I'm, we're watching TV. And I'm like, something's bothering me. Something's bothering me. And I'm, I'm looking at him, and, and I finally called his brother. I said, there's something wrong. I just know it. And we took him to the hospital, and, and that's when we found out that one of these beautiful fucking nurses, and I, I've seen them pull this shit. While they feed him, 
Like, let's say the, the microphone is Michael, and, and they got the, the, the spoon with the food. They're watching the fucking TV like this. And they're jamming it in his mouth and not making sure he chews and swallows. Now, Michael, you tell him, chew, swallow. He'll do it. And he aspirated. And food ended up in his lung. And that food should not end up in your lung. And that was bad. And he was in the hospital for a few weeks because of that. So then after that, everything had to be pureed. So... Even still, you know, when you just sit in one spot and you can't walk around and stuff, that's not that's not good, you know? It, it, it You don't move. You don't have movements like you should. And Mikey could be like that. One of the first things I ever seen when I moved into this place, I, w I heard a noise. I went to check on Mikey in his bedroom, and I shit you not, pun intended, there's a fucking turd on the floor next to Michael and I'm telling you, it was as thick as my wrist. I'm not even joking. I was like, how did, how did that even get out? How did that get out? Like, did an angel, like, help you with that? I There must have been some kind of divine intervention. So I put, I'm telling you, the last few days, I'm praying on him. I'm praying. I, if you would have told me decades ago, hey, Joe, someday you're going to be praying for a man to take a shit. Really? Are you out of your fucking mind? Hey, Joe, someday while you're praying your rosary or divine mercy, you're going to have your hand on a man's stomach praying that he takes his big ass shit. Are you out of your fucking mind? Why would I even be praying? That's what I would have been saying to you long, long time ago. Oh, but I did the laying on of the hands. I did begging and pleading. You know? Oh. Did I do it? And I put him on the bowl tonight. And I was like, I even went, if a few times when I had to walk by the bathroom, I even said, Michael, I command you to shit in Jesus' name. I gave him a prayer job like that. It was a short ejaculation, Johnny. Calm down. But, and I let him sit a little extra on the bowl. Like 45 minutes extra. He had double time. And I heard it. I heard, I could hear it, you know, because you'd sit him down, you but none coming out. So I'm hearing it from fucking down the hall. And I'm like, Lord, please let him be shitting. Lord, please let that man be shitting. Let, let that man take a legendary. You know, I don't need, I don't want him to take a normal. I need him to take a legendary, a legendary dump. And when I finally went and picked him up, I said, come on, Mikey. Because I can't clean him while he's on the bowl. Because that would that would just, that would be like, I would end up like fucking uh, Charlie Brown when he tried to kick the fucking football. We'd all be, Mikey would be the football. I'd be Charlie Brown the fucking flipping all over the place. Because I tried that once before. He started falling forward. I started falling over him. It was some kind of fucking comedy routine that I never want to repeat. So what I do now is I put a big piece of plastic on the seat of his chair, put him on a chair, roll him to his room, say, get up, lean him on his bed. He's like this. He's like he's assuming the position. And then I clean him. And um, it works. You know? So... I lift him up, and I'm like, please, Lord, let him have pooped. And when I take a look behind him, I'm like, oh, my sweet, sweet Lord. It was like, if you've ever seen that old SNL, I, I used to, I love the SNL fake commercials, the parody commercials. There's one, look it up, colon blow. The cereal was colon blow. And at the end of it, the guy, they don't think they're showing how much, and he's sitting on like um, a mountain of the cereal that, you know, is literally like, like supposed to be a mountain of shit that blow out of his colon. Mikey had a colon blow. It, it was, it, it had, it had piled so high, it was touching his butt. But, <laughs> but I cleaned him up. And I know this, and I listen. 
I know there's more in there, so we got to keep it moving. I know that I know this man. And remember, and this is a medical fact, the human body has about 652,000 miles of intestine in it. And this man is all packed. I know he's all packed, but it's coming out. And as long as it's coming out, that's good, because now I know how to keep it coming. Now I know how to keep it flowing. And I learned it from myself, you know, from, from that stuff that I make my lemonade with. I don't know what is in that stuff, but, and it's all natural stuff. It's a plant. It's from a plant. But thank you, Jesus, for putting that plant on this planet. So, and I, listen, he took a legendary. When you get your phone out and take video and pictures, and I'm not putting it in here. No, I wouldn't do that. I don't even think it would be allowed. Damn. It, you know, when, when it takes you 15 minutes to get it to go down, you in a fight. But I did it. <laughs> and I'm, I'm marching back and forth from the kitchen to get this and then to get that. Going, throwing that in the pail. And well, on one of my trips to the pail... I'm talking to the Lord. I said, Lord, you said when I do it for the least of your brothers, I'm doing it for you. Well, there we go. But Mikey's asleep now. Nurse is coming tomorrow. I'm going to give her a hand getting them on the bowl. So I don't need anyone else hurting themselves because they don't know how to do it right. I got this man on a perfect schedule. I wish I can get paid for this. That's the sad thing. Because that's big ass money. That's like, she gets like 60 grand a year. And then she don't want to do it and she don't want to do it right. But I think, I think, I tell you what, this entire vlog, 159 days later, this entire vlog has just been full of shit. <laughs> it's just been full of shit. I apologize. But look, this is my journal. It's I call it a sobriety vlog. I'm so it went out. It's two twenty seven a.m. right now, November sixth. So we are in one hundred and sixty days later has started, but I am I am vlogging about one hundred and fifty nine days later. I don't journal with paper. I tried that years ago. My big ass fucking Hulk hands with a pen. It hurts like, ooh. so I'm like I'll just. You know, if you're new, go take a look at the first vlog, 93 days later. Like, almost six minutes of me sitting in the dark by candlelight crying. The, the, the vlog was started as a self-preservation, a means of self-preservation. And it's evolved because I've changed. I've healed mentally spiritually physically i've been healing when i looked at the first when i was when i looked at that first week after i stopped drinking because i had video i waited a week i had i had two full bottles of vodka one, one was almost all full and one wasn't even opened and you you know you make that big thing where you pour it all out and i watched my brother do that with his crack he'd smash the crack pipes throw the fucking rock in the in the toilet never again never again well, yeah, well never again Came again, and he ended up on the streets dead. So I was like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not pouring this out until I know for sure. I've made it past that next weekend where I would have fucking sucked it all down. And when I made it to that Monday night, or it might have been Sunday night, I made a video. It's on my Instagram, pouring them both out. But holy fuck how much fatter I was in that video. That was back on May 30th. Uh, a week. Uh, b -b 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 May, the first week of June. Damn. I'm looking just on that. I'm like, ooh, man, I've lost a lot of weight since then. And I am more beautiful now. And I, I am of a better spirit. We've been going for almost 11 minutes. I hope the audio don't get all fucked up. But listen, I love every single one of you. God bless you for joining me on this journey. I do it for myself. I do it as if I'm the only one watching it. And I love that other people watch it too. You're all blessings in my life put there directly from the hands of God. And I'm not even saying that just to say shit like that. 
But may God bless you, keep you, heal you, protect you, you, your family, your friends, your neighbors. Be at peace with your neighbors. All your pets, all the work of your hands. Unless you're up to some sinful bullshit, then stop. And this, so I'm fucking going to sleep. As St. Padre Pio says, pray, hope, don't worry. And if you pray, hope, and don't worry, you're going to live long and prosper like a Vulcan. And like my little friend, Tiny Tim says, God bless us all, everyone. So come back tomorrow. It's beautiful. I'm going to get some rest. I'm going to get some rest. And I'm going to eat. But you know what I'm actually going to eat tonight after 3 a.m. After I finish uploading this, I think I deserved it. I think I busted ass enough. And technically, it's Saturday. So, usually I don't eat till I wake up the next on Saturday morning. But I think a, it's a little snack ain't gonna fucking ruin it. Not is I'm, I'm like I'm not gonna have an ice cream. I'm gonna be my fucking pork rinds. But hey, come back tomorrow for 160 days later. We turn back the clocks. It's so it was rainy and dark all day today. Winter is coming, and I'm jumping for joy. I might may be the only person you ever meet who loves inclement, cold shit weather. But that's just me. It's always been me. See you later.